many of you know, we have a blue and gold macaw named Cheyenne, and she is a feather plucker. She pulls her feathers out. It's a bad habit of hers, and uh, she's done it ever since I got her 13 years ago. I've actually known her longer than I've known Ed, so I'm sorry. She's number one in my book. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, you're, you're number two. You're number oh, two. Oh, I know I'm not number two either. I'm behind <laughs> the snakes, the turtles. Yeah, I know where I'm at. All right, well, you know your place, so we're, we're good. Anyway, Cheyenne here has plucked her feathers for many years, and the reason why she started in the first place is because in her previous home, or homes, she's a rescue. She's been in many homes before she reached us. She was uh, neglected to the point where she was either stressed or very very bored and so she what she does now is she over preens her feathers like she preens them and preens them and preens them and they eventually become weak and then they just slip out so uh, follicles on a bird which are these little white spots here these are her follicles and these are what develop the feathers well a bird naturally molts twice a year so they are like built to grow two sets of feathers every year roughly but those follicles only have a set number of feathers that they can make in the lifetime of a bird and whenever a feather is either plucked out or it molts out naturally it immediately starts regrowing so with Cheyenne her feathers are essentially plucked as soon as they grow in and these follicles are eventually dying because they are running out of feathers to produce which is why she's becoming more and more naked over the years we have tried everything to get her to stop plucking, but it's just a bad habit like biting your nails. We've brought her to the vet and we've determined that it's not a health related issue, thankfully, it's just behavioral. But we've tried everything from pluck no more to enrichment and foraging toys, tons of toys in general, collars and vests, application oils and uh, orally given oils and just nothing stops her from plucking. But recently our fan Sabina made some sweaters. She crocheted these herself. She sent them to us in fan mail in a live stream if you remember that episode and we are going to try them on Cheyenne. I'm not sure if they're gonna work but they're adorable so we figured we make a video about it. We have a letter here from Sabina who made and sent us these and I guess the design originated from Joanne Dennison. So she made actually a whole bag full of sweaters so I really hope that they fit and that they work. We're gonna try the one that has the colors that match Cheyenne first and we weren't sure how to put it on so I actually emailed her and we've been talking back and forth and we figured out how to do it apparently. So. Let's, yeah, let's see. Give it a shot. Let's see if this works. Cheyenne. Thankfully, she usually puts a harness on, so yeah, she should be good with that. Yeah. And my socks. Oh, yeah, that's right. We used to have socks around her chest area as like a bib, and she recently learned how to chew those off. She destroys any type of vest or bib that we put on her, basically. Yeah, which is why I don't have high hopes for this, but we'll see. Yeah, same here. But I mean, you never know. Yeah. So we'll put this over her head. This goes here, Cheyenne. Yep. I, feel like I know, I know. Good girl, though. And then I guess these tie under her legs. Is there a string over here too? No, I think Can there's I... a hole. Oh, there's a hole. Yep. Oh, okay. So I put this string through the hole. Can you roll over? Okay, so this goes in the hole there. Shane, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me tie this quick. You're a good girl. Ugh, no! Is this where we cut and just have her with the tie on it now? <laughs> we might have to. <laughs> Okay, we've got it now. on her, and Sabina said that she added this doohickey to the design, and this is basically just something to tighten it a little bit. I don't know how you would. Maybe we'll just do. Nothing else. She likes to play with it. That's true. Maybe it'll. Maybe, so maybe it's just, just to leave it loose, and she'll yeah. just distract herself with that. Instead That's true. Of the... Oh, don't don't pull it through. Oh no no. Well, okay, through. she's gonna pull that through. What do you think? You're so cute in that, Cheyenne. You look like you have feathers again. Oh. That's adorable on you. I'm not Look, gonna. Lie. It's not naked bare belly. <laughs> That's adorable. What do you think? She's actually doing pretty yeah. well. Not gonna lie, but she's also just tolerating it because I think she thinks it's just temporary. What do you think? Come here. Good girl. Do you like it? She's like, no, I want to go back in my cage. Yeah, let me go uh, destroy it. Well, it fits her well, and it looks really cute, but I'm not going to get attached because I feel like she's just going to chew it off. Yeah. So um, we'll check back tomorrow. We'll put her to bed and see what goes on. All right, it's the next morning. Moment of truth. Cheyenne. Hi. Good morning. Oh, well. She, Did she get it off? Yeah, she chewed it off. Oh, oh there it is. She like hung it like her prey too. <laughs> she did. She's like a shrike. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, well, I mean, that's kind of what I was expecting, unfortunately. Just, 
Yeah, that's kind of what I... Yep, she just tore that and off. she just stepped out of this leg. It's really cute, though. Yeah. Uh, or it was. Cheyenne, why did you take that off? You're naked again. Well, we have a bunch more sweaters. Do we want to just put another one on her? Step yeah. Up. Should we just Step put up, one on? Pretty girl. All right, we've got sweater number two on. She is not liking this one so far. It's orange. It's really cute. It has a little bit thicker of a collar, though, and she does. she's, like, stiff. She doesn't want to move. But, uh, Cheyenne, you can't learn that you can just take these off. They're super cute, and they make you look feathered. All right, let's see how long this one lasts. All right, well, I had to grab the camera because Emily and Cheyenne are having a mother-daughter moment, uh, a little feud. I can't trust her on the stand, and she doesn't want to be on me. She's just angry, but I can't put her on her stand because she just instantly starts chewing on her sweater. So I think this is going to be a lost cause, unfortunately. She's already, like, frayed it here. She... No, no, no. Quit picking at it, girl. Quit it. <laughs> she frayed this up, and she actually untied this once. She chewed off this bit. Uh, once already, so I retied it, and now I am just holding her yep. so that I can make her stop. And but she's I... been uh, making you angry, so I have this feeling it's not going to last very long down here either, so... Nope, nope, she's she's mad right now. Yeah, apparently uh, Cheyenne did something. She pooped on the floor on her way upstairs because she's mad, and yep. I'm just giving up on her for tonight. If she chews it off, she chews it off, but she's going to bed. All right. Look. Ad placement for Menards. Okay, it's the morning after we put on the orange vest or sweater, and usually it's overnight that she takes them off, so let's see if she did. Cheyenne! Oh, there's the remains of the yellow one. Cheyenne! <gasps> You're still wearing it! Hi, pretty girl! Wow, I don't think you... You chewed on the little up here, but... Other than that, that was yesterday. I remember when you did that. Have you not picked on it since? Hi, pretty girl. Good job. Oh, maybe this will work. Well, she managed to untie these little things, so I'm just going to retie them, I guess, behind her back. I did one side already. Retied that. So hopefully it stays on this time. The good news is it looks like her harness can go on top of it pretty well. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? You're not happy. Yeah, you've got both on at once. You'll get used to it. All right, now the question is, will she leave it on at the facility? You're going to leave that on? Don't chew it off? I'm going to take this guy off, but it's hard to do with one hand, so we'll be right back. All right, aren't you pretty? Look at that sweater. You are so cute in that. Yes, you are. Okay, leave it on. I'll check back in a little bit, okay? You have fun playing with your toys. Okay, day three, another moment of truth. Hi! Oh, you're still wearing it! Did you chew on it at all? No, you... Wow! You pulled that off. Oh, you're starting to unravel it a little bit, but that's not too bad. Good girl! You're playing with your toys, too. I see pieces of them all over the floor, so you're still playing. Oh, and Dad came in the room, so all the head Hi, feathers stinky. came up. Hi! Hi, pretty girl! Oh. How are you? She's in a really good mood. You good girl? You come here? You want to go to the shop? Oh, thank you. So far, so mostly good. She's starting to unravel it a little, but... It's... I mean, that's what she'd be doing to her feathers. That's true. So instead of her feathers, she's picking up that. You want a treat? You want a date? Mmm. Oh, she did not want that treat. Apparently not. Well, it's been about a week now, and she still has the second sweater on. Yeah, she's been in much better moods recently. Yeah, she hasn't torn it up much since that first day. Every morning I come in, and it seems, well, almost every morning, she's able to get one or both of the leg straps off, so I just retie those, and we might be in the clear, because she's actually leaving it alone. So I don't know if she's just gotten used to it, or maybe she's realized she's warmer with yeah, it. Yeah, that's, oh, that's my theory, is she's just like, I'm not as cold as I used to to be all the time. Maybe. She doesn't shiver as much anymore, so she's got to be warmer with this thing on. And she still looks so cute with it, too. Yeah, like, she doesn't look like a pink naked bird now. Yeah, you're not a plucked chicken not, anymore. Not ready for the fryer yet. Yeah. So, I think we might actually have a solution. After 13 years of me having her, we might finally have a solution yeah. to her feather picking, or at least a way to help make her more comfortable with a lack of feathers. I think it's funny what Danae said. Danae what? was building us the sweaters, you know? 
She's like, we over-engineered. I never thought tying anything. Yeah, because our friend Danae has made her many, many vests, and they were very professional looking. They had snaps, they had all sorts of mechanisms Velcro. to hold them. They what? Velcro. Yep, they were Velcro-based, and Ch Cheyenne tore every one of them off. And D Danae put a lot of work into them, so I felt bad. But here we go! Yeah, we just crochet in a tie, and she seems to like it. <laughs> like, yes! So we figured we would show you the other designs that Sabina made and sent us in kind of... Well, not really a fashion show. We were gonna put all of these on her individually, but then thought, mm, she probably wouldn't like that. Yeah, we don't we want don't her- to ruin it. Yeah, we don't want her to dislike these sweaters since they're actually working out. So we'll just show you them one at a time. So Sabina sent us a couple more, actually, that are her normal colors, the yellow in front and blue on the back. This one's kind of cool. It's got stripes. Yeah, the... she'll look like she's going really fast. Yeah, she's going to have racing stripes. That's going to be so cute. You're a good girl. She's like, don't touch me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I know. I'm not going to put a second one on you. It's okay. <laughs> she also made us this cool one. This one's like Halloween themed right there. And we have oh. a Thanksgiving themed one or a fall themed one. So we can like put that one on her in the fall. We have another one similar to this guy, so she's got two of those. We've got this one, which is super cute. I just love the black and white. Another kind of fall-themed one. She's gonna look like a pumpkin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're gonna have pumpkin Cheyenne. She kinda looks like a pumpkin now. She kinda does, yeah. <laughs> we need like a St. Patrick's Day one. We oh, need like a- Fourth of July. Fourth of July one. Oh, Valentine's Day. Valentine's we could, Day. Oh, that'd be so cute to do different <laughs> holiday sweaters mm -hmm. for you. My favorite one is probably this one. This is like a unicorn one, I think, with all the different rainbow colors in the white base, you yeah. know? So yeah, these are super, super cute. Thank you, Sabina, so much for making these. So if anybody has a bird with a similar situation, we're going to put the link to the original design that Sabina used to make these sweaters in the description below. Of course, like when using any other person's work, make sure to give credit where it's due. This design was originally created by Joanne Dennison, and I don't know if Joanne's ever gonna see this, but thank you for the design, because mm -hmm. Sabina saw it, made it, and we, I think, have a solution to Cheyenne's feather uh, picking. You think there's any way we could get an ugly Christmas sweater? <gasps> Oh, that would be cute. How about one that's like black with the S from our logo oh, on the front? Oh, that would be sweet, like a green S. Yeah, that'd be so cool. We may have to like commission uh, Sabina yeah. or someone else to make more of we these. Take like family photos of like us all in our black hoodies. Yes! <laughs> but I think we're gonna have to stock up on more of these somehow mm -hmm. just to have, because eventually they're gonna wear out. I feel like it's not gonna last forever if she's picking here and there, but this one's, I think they're gonna last longer than we thought. Yeah, at the uh, very least we know Nick, the goat guy. Yeah. And he crochets and he can do at least Ooh. something for us maybe. Yeah, maybe I'll give Weird Goat Guy yeah. one of these so we he can, can see the, how the pattern works. And, and pay him to make yeah. us Cheyenne sweaters. Yes. <laughs> Thank you again, Sabina, for these sweaters. We're so excited yeah. to have these for Cheyenne. Let us know which one of these designs is your favorite. We're curious. Or if you guys have any more ideas yeah. that we can commission, yes. like any colors or anything, Thing like that. That'd be so cool because oh we finally have something for you. I'm so excited. Oh she's gonna go up on my shoulder. Yeah. Okay. I want to go up here now. Uh, oh, you're fine. You're fine. Thank you everybody for watching and thank you to our wonderful Patreon backers. I might be using some of our Patreon <sighs> donations to buy more sweaters for Cheyenne and then we can have a nice big stash for <sighs> all of the holidays of the year. Yep. Because she wears them so well. You're such a good girl. Thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye, Cheyenne. You good girl.